hello and welcome to Recipes for Life. I am Mercedes Wilson and I have the Freddie J with me. Hello, hey, sir. In the flush. In the flush. <laughs> and guess what? Freddie J has taught me some things today because I am the person that spends an hour and a half using three different cheeses, butter, salt, pepper, milk, eggs on my mac and cheese. But you have a very, very, very simple recipe. So walk us through Freddie J's mac and cheese. Tell us what you do. It's all, it starts with the noodles. The you noodles, got, right? The Scooby-Doo noodles. You have to get, I, I'm I sorry, can't make I this laugh. up. Scooby-Doo noodles. It's Scooby-Doo noodles, because they are big and they hold on to the seasoning much better. Mm -hmm. You pre-cook them, cook them all the way, not halfway. Okay. You cook them all the way. You drain the water, you know, let it cool off a little bit. Get yourself a skillet, get yourself some evaporated milk, and some shredded cheese. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Now you see greens on my plate. The recipe <laughs> for Freddie J's greens will be on my website, MercedesEWilson.com. But let's talk about evaporated milk. Yes. Talk about that and tell everybody the importance because a lot of us use regular milk. Well, evaporated milk has some of the same um, ingredients. Mm. It, it's a dairy product, so it will have some of the same ingredients that all the cheeses that you use have. So we're double so dipping when you add it, cheese it, and it, salt or milk. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So the evaporated milk, you get all your dairy from there, you get some sweetness from there, and then you got the shredded cheese. It also has some sweetness. There is dairy. So why are you dairy, dairy, dairy? Oh, it's dairy all day. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's an old kill of dairy. So, it is. <laughs> so you got one cheese, and then it's a, the waste of money to it and time. Well, I was gonna say time yeah. because you cook this in like five minutes, yes. ten minutes. Yes. After I mean, after the noodles were boiled, when he put it all together, it was maybe ten minutes. Yes. I'm embarrassed. Time is important. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Life is too short to be wasted in the kitchen. I know. I'll be in the kitchen all the time, right? Life is too <laughs> short to waste your time cooking macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Is this your favorite dish? One of your favorite dishes? This is one of my favorite dishes. What do you like eating with your mac and cheese? What's your favorite meat to eat with mac and cheese? I like the jug fish. Ooh. Yeah, the Caribbean jug fish. You can either fry it or you can bake it. It depends on your preference. Mm -hmm. I prefer to fry mine, mm -hmm. you know, because of all the seasoning that's in it. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good. One of the things that I've learned um, doing this with Freddie J is that he is big on time. What does time mean to you when it comes to food? Everything. Because mm -hmm. you can never get time back. Right. So in anything you do, I'm not saying rush through life, mm -hmm. you know, don't take the elevator, take the stairs, but when you can save time on, in certain area of your life, save that time, please. Mm -hmm. so what and you cooking have to, is one of those areas yeah, where you, you say save time. Yeah, save time. Folks, you need to try this mac and cheese. Save yourself some time and get a delicious recipe. Freddie J, thank you for coming in my kitchen. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank I am you. humble. And, thank you. And he did it on the grill. Folks, you can do it on anything hot, Freddie J said. <laughs> anything hot. <laughs> anything hot you can cook this mac and cheese on. Listen, do this. Do it with someone you love. This, I promise you, is one of the recipes for life, and it saves time that you can get back and spend with those you love. So thank you yes. for watching this episode of Recipes for Life.